<laughs> Count Floyd here. Reminding you once again to stay tuned this Saturday night for another monster chiller horror theater. Ooh, kids, we got a scary movie for you this week. Believe me, it's really scary. I haven't seen something that scary in so long. Oh, it's the plasma sucking scorpions from Mississauga. <laughs> Let me tell you something, it's really good. I haven't seen a film, it's in 3D, so you'll need your 3D glasses, and believe me, I've never seen a film so scary. Your, your face muscles are gonna just turn to marmalade on this one, believe me. Let's, let's take a look at some film clips from it now. It's in 3D, so you gotta be wearing your glasses to see the previews. <laughs> let's take a look. Natural law for Julie. Bishop? Yes. Oh! Oh, oh! oh, we got a scary one for you. We, we, we don't have the plasma suckers this week. We got a better one. We got four for Texas. Starring uh, the Rat Pack. Ooh, you don't think they're scary? Peter Lawford just. Standing there, is it, in, is that in 3D? It's not 3D. Oh, <laughs> oh Peter Lawford and Joy Bishop and, the, and Frank Sinatra standing there in, not even in 3D. You don't think that's scary? Those guys, the, the, the pack of them, they're just, when's the last time they really did anything and that's, that would scare me if I... 4 for Texas was the last thing I did. So I'm quite sure you should stay tuned next week for 4 for Texas with uh, the, the, the pack of rats. You, you rats! Ooh, rats! Ooh! I'm... Saturday night, kids. The pack of uh, entertaining rats with the cufflinks and the. Tired of ordinary television? Don't touch that dial. SCTV is now on the air. Starring John Candy, Joe Flaherty. Gene Levy. Andrea Martin. And Martin Short. Television like you've never seen it before. This is the SCTV Television Network. Philosophers at Work has dealt with the morality of annihilation, anorexia nervosa, and social interaction. Join us next time as moderator Greta Kubler-Cook asks the question... Gentlemen, uh, is the uh, Hanna-Barbera's Flintstones a rip-off of the old Jackie Gleason Honeymooners show? <laughs> Harry Hofstetter. Is the Flintstones a rip-off of the Honeymooners? Does ontogeny precede phylogeny? Wow. Of course it does, of course, of course. Now, you have, you have uh, Fred Flintstone. Mm -hmm. He is Ralph Cramden. Then you have Barney uh, Roop, uh, Rubble. Rubble, 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 is Ed Norton. <laughs> Wilma is Alice Cramden. Then you have Betty, and she is Trixie Norton. Right on, and there right you have it. Right on, right on. Uh, Clive, Clive Bushy. Grace, 
Ipsiloquitur, and by that I mean, did Ralph drive a pedal-powered Timbird automobile? Did Ralph and Alice have a child? Oh, Where in please. Brooklyn, New York, does one find Dino the please. Dinosaur? No, this no, is, no, this no, is no, an irrational no. discussion. I think the whole thing goes back to the Greeks. Anyway, and Aristophanes is the one who was ripped missing off. The oh, yes. You're missing well, the point. Ah, yes. Bernard Adler, uh, you've been strangely silent, Bernie. Well, what is reality? Well, now, Gretchen, Greta, we're getting... Are we discussing quantum now? No, 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 if you let me finish. Uh, we're discussing reality, and I think reality is the later Flintstones. Not the originals, but the later. I think ah. there's... No, 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 no. Look at the early, look at the early honeymoon. Well, there's no Look. comparison. Now, come on. Of How course there's a comparison. You're going to compare, compare. compare the early honeymooners with the early yes. Flintstones? Yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. Well, Philosophers at Work, Thursdays at 9 on SCTV. Hi, I'm Edna Boyle, standing in the Boyle's Prairie Warehouse in Curio Emporium. That's right, Stan took my name. He also took my heart. Isn't that right, Stan? <laughs> Stan made me an honest woman. That's right, we got hitched in Las Vegas. Now you can enjoy the same kind of trip we took on a fun fill, full day and two nights of frolic in the heart and glitter that is downtown Las Vegas. Isn't that right, Stan? <laughs> Don't turn me on when I'm trying to sell something. <laughs> yes, let the good times roll as you board the Stan and Edna Boyle Las Vegas junket and quickie marriage tour express. Oh, luck be a lady tonight. <laughs> Come on, you red devils. That's right. Every passenger who paid in full will receive their own complimentary song sheet of luck be your lady tonight. Please return your song sheets to the driver before leaving the bus. En route, you'll enjoy complimentary sandwiches in your choice of three types of ham spread and large canteens of faucet fresh water. Please don't ask for seconds until your fellow passengers and your drivers have been fed. So come on. And not. Oh, <laughs> and it's on to the Chucky's Lucky Silver Dollar Hotel and Casino where you'll be sharing a large room with just one other couple. Finally, you, you'll meet Bill the Priest who will help you exchange marriage vows in his famous little bit of Westminster Abbey Chapel. And if you order today, hubbies will be entitled to a side excursion to the Mustang Chicken Ranch where they will be serviced in a legal atmosphere. Isn't that right, Stan? <laughs> so cute. Come on down! Total cost for Stan and Edna Boys Las Vegas Junket and Quickie Marriage Tour is reasonably priced at a mere $229. Come on down, see you aboard. Stan. Oh. Where you are, weren't you? I don't know. I don't know. Answer the question, yes, yes. or no? Yes. <laughs> this Thursday at 9, SCTV presents no courtroom drama at its highest. Very well. Your witness, Mr. Monk. In the season premiere of Chick Monk. Mr. Monk. Your witness! Rudy for the defense. Hey, wow. I gotta take this cable down, you know? Like if someone was to trip over, man, they're gonna break a leg, you know? Once again, to Mel's Rock Pile, I'm Rockin' Mel Slurp, and we're gonna have a lot of fun in the Rock Pile today. Hey, I'm gonna throw a question on the dance floor right now. How many kids here are into punk music, huh? Oh. I hate punk music! Well, that's too bad, because uh, today we're kind of paying a special tribute to punk music, a, a long overdue tribute, I might add, so I hope you get to enjoy it as the show goes on, otherwise this whole thing could be a... A big washout. We got a great punk group on the show today, the Queen Haters. And they're, uh, 
Gonna be on a little later, and they're coming to us all the way from, um, oh, what's the name of that place? England. <laughs> and also, we're gonna be going down on the dance floor and talking to some of the kids down here, uh, seeing what they're up to. But right now, let's get on down and boogie. Take a few minutes out right now and go down to the dance floor and talk to some of the kids that came down here because uh, it's one of my favorite things, chatting it up with the kids. Hi, moi, Mel, and you are? Haji D. Robertus, Jr. Well, I don't believe this. Boy, I know I'm getting old because I'll tell you something. Haji's dad was one of the original dancers on the rock pile many, many moons ago. Good to have you on the show, Haji. What school do you go to? Mellonville High Tech Institute. So you're pursuing a career in the, along the technical lines? Well, I'm actually interested in uh, foreign... Um, languages and also I'm, I'm kind of interested in working with backward children and I would like to open up a, uh, a mime company in San Francisco preferably. Well I don't know that much about the educational system but uh, if I can ask you this if you're pursuing those goals it would seem to me what the heck would you be doing in a technical school? I don't know. Did I make a mistake? Well, I don't know, maybe you should give it some thought, but we have to move on right now. And, uh, hi, Jim Appel-Mel, and you are? Lawrence Orbach. And, uh, what school do you go to, Lawrence? Mel, Mel I, I, I should maybe see my guidance counselor on Monday. I can go in and make an appointment. Well, well, you don't really have time to discuss it on the show, but, uh, you know, you should think about those things. You should think about what kind of major you want to go into. You know, I'd give it some thought. What school do you go to, uh, Lawrence? Now, I've been a student at Franklin Pangmore Junior High School for the last ten years. <laughs> Well, that's uh, 10 years, uh, an awful long time. You must be a senior by now. Although I have a powerful command of the English language, I can neither read nor write. And I have been deemed totally literate by the Malmville Board of Education. Although I still firmly believe that Italy is nestled between Australia and New Zealand, and that my morning glass of milk comes from cats. Like, thank you for have me being on the show. <laughs> Well, looky, 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 who just walked into the studio? Well, I guess this guy needs no introduction because I guess you all recognize him. Uh, Stefan Seely from Preteen World. Hey, Stefan, uh, what the heck are you doing on the rock pile? Well, Mel, I came down to give you a plaque. A plaque? Poor moi. That's got to be one of the neatest things that's happened to, uh, to this particular person right here. Well? Well, what? Hey. Am I going to... What about it? My... Well, give it, give me that. Well, would you look at that? Is that not something? There's a lot of work that went into this. And I see there's uh, an inscription on there, uh, Stefan. <laughs> Correct, Mel. Honorary bus. <laughs> Preteen world. Monte Ectorum Pro Bono Muse Mel's Rock Pile. Thank you, Stefan. That's really so. Of course, it's not the words that count. It's the thought that counts. We all know that. So, Stefan, uh, if you can take this back, Stefan's going to be at our celebrity autograph uh, table. And if anybody wants to get an autograph, I'm sure uh, Stefan would love to give you one and chat it up with you. And, Stefan, there's a water cooler just outside the studio doors. And right now, why don't we all get back on the dance floor and shake it up and let's get down. We'll be back with more of Rock and Mail's Rock Pile right after this. Yes, everybody! 
everybody loves America's favorite stooge, Curly. Now you can hear him singing his favorite movie love themes. You get the love theme from Romeo and Juliet. The Graduate. The Godfather. The Thomas Crown Affair. And if you act now, on the flip side, you receive absolutely free. Curly sings the classics. Yes, Curly sings the great movie love themes. And in case you just joined us, I'm Rockin' Mel Slurp, and this is Mel's Rock Pile, a special edition. We're paying tribute to punk music today, and we're gonna have a very special punk group coming up later on in the show, but right now we're gonna chat it up with a few more people down here on the dance floor. Hi, moi, Mel, and you are? I'm Debbie DeVilvis. Perhaps you know my mother, Yolanda DeVilvis. She's the host of Mel and Bill Calendar. Well, this must be Celebrity Week on Mel's Rock Pile. Yolanda DeVilvis, of course, on uh, Mel and Bill Calendar, a very popular show. You are one cute girl. Is she not a pretty girl? I think you're going to make uh, somebody really happy the day you decide to get married because you are a cutie, that's for sure. Mel, barking up the wrong tree. Uh, do you have a special someone uh, that you brought down to the rock pile today? Yes, I do, Mel. I'm being escorted by Joey. So I guess you two uh, dance to the beat of a different drum, so to speak. Yes, isn't it beautiful in its own special way? Okay, uh, we've got a group for you, and they're coming up right now, and they invited everybody to follow the bouncing ball and sing along. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queen Haters. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta trust me on this. Uh, slam dancing, everybody's getting into it now. What you do is you get half the people and you line them up on this side of the room, and you get half the people and you line them up on that side of the room, and this is where the fun part comes in. Then, 
everybody runs into each other and starts slamming. It's, uh, it's a lot. Have you no care for the women? Oh, Pudgy, come on. Now, this is going to be a lot of fun. you got to trust old Mel on this, okay? Now, come on. You ready? we got two sides here. When I give the signal, we just start slamming. On your mark. Get set. Start slamming. Oh. We have a winner in our slam dance contest here on the rock pile. And uh, what's your name? Mad Dog Melvin Brown, University of Michigan. Defensive end. Oh, well, congratulations on winning the slam dance contest. Hey, where's my prize? I told I was going to get a prize for winning this. Oh, yeah, well, uh, you get a prize, of course. Uh, you get an autographed picture of Stephen Seeley. <laughs> And uh, what? a lovely frame, and that's all the time we have in the rock pile for today. So until next time, this is Rock and Mouse Slurp saying, talk to you. keep the when they baby. When I came here, I it out of way. Coming soon to the small screen, Charlotte Bronte's classic romantic novel. You goofy swine! Starring Eddie Rubin as the gruff landowner and Priscilla Spanky as the simple governess who comes to teach, but instead is lured into a sinister web. Give me that torch, Rochester. She's up here somewhere. There she is. The sweeping and dramatic Jane Airhead coming to SCTV.